Hi everyone! So for today's video, we will have a simple activity on classification, composition of matter, and chemical reactions. What is chemical reactions? Chemical reactions are process in which one or more substances are changed into different substances and can be generally written in its basic form as reactants to products. The reactants undergo chemical reactions turn into products. The transformation of reactants to products involves band breaking and band forming. The arrow in the chemical equation means yield or turn into. So I have here a plate and a spoon, a plastic spoon and a paper. Paper. So now, um, first we will put a uh, paper here in a plate. Yeah, in a plate. Then, by using the spoon, we will rub it in our hair. After a minute, we will put the spoon closely in our paper. So let let's see what will happen. <laughs> Look closely to the paper. As you see, the paper was being magneted to the spoon. It is magneted because as we rub the plastic spoon, we are giving it a negative charge. Something that is negatively charged will attract things that have a different charge, like the salt and paper. In this case, materials can have positive, negative, or neutral charge, positively or negatively charged materials to attract or repel each other. Materials having unlike charges attract, while materials having like charges repel. Static electricity is formed much better when the air is dry because when the air is humid, water molecules collect on the surface of various materials presenting the build-up of electrical charges. So, ang next video pong gagawin natin is we have a plate, a paper, paper, and the dishwashing liquid, dishwashing liquid, and the water so first we will put water here in our plate second we will put the paper the next we will put our finger down into the liquid dishwashing liquid then after this, we point out our finger in this water that have a paper. So let's see what will happen. Look closely. As you see, as we point out our finger into the water with paper, the paper was being moved. What is the reason why the paper reacts when we point our finger to the water with paper? Why the paper flakes float? Why don't they sink or dissolve in water? It is because water molecules like to stick together. They line up in a certain way that will give the water surface tension. Because the paper flakes are so light and hydrophobic the surface tension keeps them floating on top. So that's all for this video. Thank you and God bless.